Good morning, friends. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different from my blog this week, and I know I've said that uh, the last couple of weeks, <clears throat> but it remains to be true, um, or it remains true. I just want to say thank you, um, and this is going to come across a lot like a support letter for the next couple minutes, and maybe it is, and maybe I will put a, a donate link in the description of this, um, in this blog, but I really want to say, uh, less like a support letter, just say thank you for allowing me to be a self-supporting, uh, missionary, uh, basically missionary to the disabled community and give you an insight into what um, my supporters allow me to do and how grateful I am. <clears throat> I work um, every day from, I usually start about 9.30 and uh, sometimes I go till 4.30, sometimes I go to 5, sometimes I go to 7. But I was thinking about, excuse me, all of the things that I've done this week. I got to sit with four or five people um, on Tuesday and just journey with them through their spiritual development and through... Uh, challenges that they were facing in their lives as a, as a, a spiritual direction and mentor presence. I have taught, or my wife and I have taught the Julian Way uh, study with St. Luke's United Methodist for the last several weeks. I have uh, done my blogs and my podcast consistently uh, over the last couple of months. I am getting ready to welcome an intern to the Julian Way who's really gonna help us with our writing and our community development piece. And it just struck me how much I do every day and how flexible I am able to be because I've got folks that believe in the ministry and are helping support me financially, but most importantly, through prayer. And it really struck me. Honestly, guys, I've been busier the last two weeks uh, just because of the volume of appointments that I usually am. And I'm really, I am feeling the need for a summer break. Uh, just to get a little bit of breathing room as my wife finishes up grad school and uh, we get ready to transition into the next phase of the Julian Way. But as I was coming down off a very full and very meaningful day on Tuesday, I thought how grateful I am to be a person with a disability who's able to do the ministry they want to do and be there for my community. Um, and that's a rarity for a person with a disability. Because if you look at employment among those with uh, People with disabilities, I think it's at least the, uh, I'm sorry, unemployment is at least 30% higher among the disabled population than uh, the uh, general population and probably higher. I know I'm undercounting that figure a little bit, but yet I get to do six or seven distinct things every day that I probably wouldn't get to do, honestly, if I were in the local church. I love the local church. I'm a pastor. I always have deep affinity for, 
the local church. But because I've got folks that believe in the work of the Julian Way and my capacity as a spiritual director, I can be flexible and I can teach and I can preach when I'm asked and I can be a spiritual director and a mentor and a writer and a blogger and a podcaster. So thank you. I am sitting here tired, ready for a bit of vacation in, in a week, but extremely grateful. And I just wanted to let you in on where I was a little bit this week. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.